I'm doing a little blog today and this one is called Brush Clearing, Embracing the Rains, Loving What I Am Becoming. Yesterday was a busy day as we began to clear more brush and do burn piles because last night it was supposed to rain, which it did. We are clearing a space for my stepdaughter to get married in a fairy ring of redwood trees. A fairy ring is where the central older tree, in this case, was cut down, and from the roots of the ancient redwoods, clones appear and grow. It will be lovely once we are finished, but we got a good start on it by bringing in a neighbor who had some great equipment for earth moving. With the machine, he was picking up things and putting them in the burn pile, making the job so much easier. It was quite an adventure with another neighbor helping out, and when I was not working, I was helping in small ways, but mainly feeding hungry men at lunch with homemade enchiladas, salad, chips and salsa with guacamole, and then pistachio coconut cake with chocolate cream cheese frosting and chocolate chip cookies. I was trained by a mother who was an amazing cook and, while, and where there was always yummy things in the house. I think it's good to feed men when so much heavy work is being done. My father used to love answering the phone, saying, Wagner's Bar and Grill, what would you like? <laughs> Today, the rain looks like snow as it is falling, but it is not sticking at the moment. I have my tomatoes, San Marzano's, safely tucked away in the window box in the kitchen with the green peppers and jalapenos. It is clearly not warm enough for them to be out and about. My garlic is doing well, but it has been in the ground since November with the onions. The lettuce loves this wet, cold reality and is thriving, and my carrots are raring to go. I will have to replant the broccoli as the swarms of birds came in and nipped it. It was too tender and tasty to resist. Yesterday, the bees were out searching for water and sweet things. It was warm enough for, for the beginning sojourn of the young bees to get the lay of the land. They were still figuring out the flying and landing thing. Once it gets warmer next week, I will put out some sugar water for them. The second edit for the book is going swimmingly, much faster than the first. As I reread each chapter, I marvel at the flow and believe that it will be a very fun read for those interested. As the light increases, but this, but this, as the light increases, but the sky is overcast today, I notice that feeling of being torn in between. I am in between multiple realities, seeking to find a new place to stand. The writing of my story has allowed something to settle within, and that allows me to move forward with a fresh, with fresh eyes. Now I see all the places and choices that brought me to this moment. I have come full circle, and with it, something new is being born. Perhaps when we learn to embrace all that we were, all the choices and dances we encountered, and all the lessons, no matter how hard or trying, we allow something inside to blend, and it becomes something else. Something that was the inherent potential of the soul that longed to emerge. With these eclipses, something new can be born. I hope each soul feels that in their own personal ways. Hoping everyone has a lovely weekend. Thanks, everyone.